Welcome back for another Mikey Tries, the video series that shows you your art could always be worse. Today I've been told uh, we're going back. We're going back to Bob Ross. We've done a Bob Ross. I've painted along with Bob Ross, but apparently now we're upping the stakes. This time I will be painting Bob Ross without the aid of seeing what he's doing, just listening to what he's doing. Now the team has selected a video for me in which they're going to be playing audio through a speaker. They have also given me a very condensed Bob Ross master set. These used to come in much bigger boxes. Now were you able to get every color that is used in the video? Um, so it doesn't have every color, but don't worry, open the coolers, we got the extras. <laughs> this will already be difficult. But that's not Bob Ross paint. All right, so it looks like we still won't have all the colors that he will be naming, which will make this even more fun. But uh, we have some substitute colors, which uh, we'll use in its place. Uh, I will say that Bob Ross paint notoriously is a bit stiffer than a um, traditional... Um, I, I hate life. That was the speaker that was supposed to play. We'll just leave it off until we get started, okay? Because it, it, it keeps turning off. What was I saying? Right, back to it. Bob Ross paint is traditionally a stiffer paint than um, is traditionally used with oil paint, and that's because of the wet on wet technique. Uh, so when I do use these colors, it might not work exactly as it would with the traditional Bob Ross paints, but now I'm just probably making excuses for how terrible this is going to turn out. So uh, I guess let's get started. I'll open this box. It's 15 pieces. I know that because it says so. Okay. We've got a palette knife, looks like a liner, script liner brush, a fan brush, a two inch brush, some colors and some liquid white, which I guess I will have to apply now. So we'll be right back after I do that because that's just how all these videos start. I don't need to see anything for that. We couldn't have prepped this for me, no? Well, I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so is everybody ready? Am I ready? Yes. We'll find out. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, what do I, what is it now? It's the most positive thing you'll hear all day. Okay, am I holding this right? I don't even... <laughs> yeah, I'm holding this right, yeah. I should. Okay, we have our sound on for now, and I think we're going to get ready to get started. I've applied a thin coat, I think, of liquid white. Uh, one of the great things about liquid white is it's the color of your canvas, so... Uh, can't always tell very easily. You can touch it, I'm not gonna do that, but I, I like to kind of look in the light and see if it has a nice even sheen, and I seem to have that more or less. So without further ado, let's get started. I guess, roll the tape. God, that sounds my age. Roll the audio file. Hi, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I thought we'd do a fantastic little painting, maybe that's, maybe it's deep in the woods and it's very dark and misty, and I think you'll enjoy it, Evan. So let's start out and have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me, and they'll come across in the same order as I have them on the palette, starting with the white and working around. While they're doing that, let's go on up here. Now I have the good old standard 18 by 24 inch canvas, and I've already covered it with a thin, even coat of the liquid white, and it's all wet and slick, and it's, it's ready to do a fantastic oil painting on it. So let's, let's just take off and have some fun. Today, let's start, tell you what, let's use a little phthalo blue, a little phthalo blue, We'll pick up a little sap green. So we have phthalo blue and sap green. Pause. A little of each. Okay, and he didn't mention the brush he's using. All right, so I'm going to default to the two inch. So a little of each of the phthalo blue. All right, we're going to go into our phthalo blue. There you are. And a little bit of that sap green, just like that. All right, it's a Bob Ross sound. Okay, let's go. A little bit of paint. I don't have a whole bunch of paint. Now then, if we're gonna be deep in the woods. We need some, just some nice colors back in here. So just sort of dance this around, twirl it, let it play. Don't get it too even. We want it to be dark in areas and light in areas and use a lot of pressure in places and no pressure in places. 
A lot of pressure, no pressure. Just make all these little different things happen. Just like so. Just like so. A little more color on the brush. We'll just cover the whole top of the canvas like it. Oh, crap. Really push hard when you want it to be dark. Pause, everything's going to hell. You want it light. All right, okay. We got that settled. Apparently, I'm just supposed to be doing this at the top, so uh, I guess leave it off. Well, maybe we should just keep playing it until he is about to give another direction. Just let it caress the canvas. Pause. Ming, I want you to come stand on this. Okay, play. Very gentle, very soft. Every once in a while you can get tough and just grind it in see it makes a nice dark spot. Shake out the excess. All right, pause it. I got to go beat this thing over here. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. That's all there is to it. Now then, with a clean, dry brush, I'm going to go right back up in here and just bring all this together. And you can overblend it till it becomes just one solid mass of color. Okay, so clean, dry brush. This is a dirty, wet brush. All right, so blend it together lightly until it's one solid color. I don't want to lose all these light and dark areas here. I just want to bring it together. Okay, so no, you don't want to lose all the... Sometimes it's hard to stop. Things get working so well, you just want to keep going. When we're all finished, I hope this looks like trees way back in the distance. All kinds of little things will be happening back here. Okay, I already know that this does not look like his. Because, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, those are trees. Yeah, I've just decided. Okay. So we're getting some water, Bobby. All right, so I guess I'll start basically mixing that again. Oop, this brush is a little wet. I think I should have beat the devil out of this, but all right, let's go with it. Uh, okay. And I'll just, I'm going to have water maybe right in here. Add a little bit more to the blackish color. There we go. I want this to be dark. Start at the bottom because I want it to be the darkest. And then work back upward. That way it's going to pick up the, the liquid white and automatically it gets lighter in value. That's where our water will be, somewhere in there. I feel really well, thank you. Oh. He's got a big bucket, I got a little thing. Can somebody... <laughs> it's so messy. Uh, okay, let's, let's continue. We've been here for 45 minutes. I'm doing well, I've been told, but people lie to me all the time here, don't you? Let's move on. That's the most fun part of this whole technique, is just, just washing the brush. Pause. Out of context, that's some really gross sounds going on. <laughs> Sometimes they slip out of your hand and go across the room. There. Now then I'm going to take a liner brush, put some thinner on it, and go right into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Now this paint is... All right. All right, I've got my Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to add a little bit of thinner to my script liner brush, and I'm going to pray to God. Thin like water. It's about the consistency of ink. Turn that brush. Pull it to a nice sharp point. See there? Good. Let's go up here. Pause. So I'm trying to get the consistency of water. And then we're going to start making some decisions. There's all kind of trees that live in here. Just wherever you think they should live, that's where they'll live. Well, I'm guessing not in the okay. water. These are far away trees. And we can just put the indication here and there. Happy little limb. If it doesn't want to Blow off your brush, add a little bit more of the pa thinner. Pause it, pause it. Far away trees? All right, yeah. So in my world, that is not nearly pale enough to give the impression it is far away. There we go. Just wherever you think there should be a tree, try it both ways. Whichever works the best for you, then that's the right way. There. See, just as many as you want, or as few. And don't make them all straight. Trees grow over which way? Some of them have little, little kinks in them. And 
They're like people. Everybody's different. Trees are different. I have a Blair Witch Project, is what it looks like. <laughs> no, this tree's looking like a cactus. He said nothing about like making these trees look like they have any kind of leaves on them or anything. All right, I'm done with that. Okay. I use liquid clear. Take a little liquid clear. Time out. Do you have liquid clear for me? Liquid clear is the liquid white, but it doesn't have any white in it. All right. Instead of liquid clear, I'm going to use linseed oil, but it's going to be Chelsea Classical Studios Extra Pale, so hopefully it won't be too yellow. All right. What am I supposed to do with my liquid clear? The liner brush does fantastic things. The liner brush is nice because it has a long hair on it. Now then, today I'm going to use the oval brush. My whole life is one big technical difficulty. <laughs> oval brush? Do I have an oval brush? He said oval brush. All right, let's do one thing at a time. I'm still trying to figure out my liquid clear. Apparently liquid clear and linseed oil will let hurt. Okay, so I should use a little bit of the spike oil with it. Oh, bristle brush? Like this? My one inch brush? All right, I'm going to have to go off camera for this. Wait for me. He makes one of those? Yeah, that's what I said. I didn't realize. I, that's, uh, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I'm going to use my one inch brush. Believe me, I can get something done with one inch that usually takes other people six. What are we doing with this liquid clear? Oh my god, I've got a freaking narcotic pill with my name on it waiting for me at home. Please. Oh, not because I'm an addict, I had dental work. If you want to call it that. I had dental failure. I have a lawsuit. So the liquid clear. So I'm going to take linseed oil. I'm going to glop that on here. And then I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of spike oil. And then I'm going to go and make these trees shiny. So uh, essentially painting fat over lean. That'll help push all those that back here farther back. There we go. I have some drippage. Just wherever you want these. You could spend all day just putting in all kinds of beautiful little tree trunks. I only did like four trees, so some of them have right. to be in the back and some of them have Your to be in the front. The brush does fantastic things. Now then, today I'm going to use the oval brush. And no, we're not. Mix up. Let's take some of that phthalo blue, a little sap green, and I'm going to reach right over here, grab a little touch of white. Okay, hold on. All right, so phthalo blue, sap green, and a touch of white. And it sounded like he was mixing that with a palette knife. This looks like a Grateful Dead concert. I'm going to touch my white some more. Okay, I got my oval brush. All right. A little more to the bluish side. There we go. Okay, hold on. He wants it more bluish. Should have said something earlier, Bob. Oh. 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 Mm. oh, sorry. <laughs> Try not to make me oil paint anymore. Go ahead. I'm going to add a little black. It's too bright. You guys are having a good time. That makes me really happy. Shut up. Wanted a glove 45 minutes ago. All right, go ahead. Let's go right up in here and then just begin. Just putting a few little details. See how it makes, that oval brush makes it look like there's thousands of little leaves on those rascals. Super for that. And I'm just barely, barely tapping. Barely tapping. Sort of look at where you think they might live and drop them in. Drop them in. And if you want them to have more curve on them, then hold the brush downward. If you want them to be straight, go straight in, see? I call squirrels tree urchins because they live in a tree. I have a whole bunch of them around where I live. And they come down and they 
I feed them. They come. All right, move on. I'm just just doing this because I'm depressed now. And art makes me happy. <laughs> All righty. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take a little brown. This is just straight Van Dyke brown. All right. So he pulled it out with a palette knife. Probably get it flat. Making an educated. <laughs> I'm making a guess. Forget educated. That he pulled it out with a palette knife, and then it, based on the sound, I think he's using a brush. I could be wrong. I look like an idiot either way. So let's just go for it. They're making some decisions. Maybe there's some land that lives back here. Just, all I'm doing here, just pushing in some color. Just like so. Just a little color. No big deal right now. Pause. No. That's a palette knife, isn't it? You guys let me get this brush dirty all the hell over again? Okay, so I have my palette knife, straight Van Dyke Brown, and I'm going to push in the land. Now, since I'm using a palette knife, Based on what I know of Bob Ross, genitally speaking, he likes it on the bottom. So I am going to push land in here, I guess. There's a hair on that. Yeah. Come on, Bob, join me. Let's start making some decisions. Maybe there's some land that lives back here. I'm going all the way across. Anybody that gets to sigh and disgust is me. I don't know what's going on back there with you, but yeah, why not? A little white, a little, a little dark sienna. Okay, pause. Pull it out. I'm officially out of palette space. Yeah, get me. Yeah. Don't put that in the video. That's for y'all. <laughs> we had that this whole time. We had this this whole time. Not that much bigger? Are you high? I should be. Mm! All right, so white. And I'm guessing he wants this to be lighter than that. So let's just see what that looks like. OK. Pull it out, cut us off a little bit. Didn't barely touch. I just put the indication of a little highlight here and there. I don't want too much. This is too far back. It's too dark back in here. It's too dark. Now that we'll use a. Uh... Well, he did that real quick. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna do. Oh, it's so chunky. Old number six fan brush. I'm gonna go right into some. Yellow. I went into the. Okay, I've got my number six fan brush and I've got cad yellow hue. The liquid white first, going into some yellow, reach up here and grab some sap green. Wait, what? All right, so liquid white, yellow, and sap green. Sap green over here and a little bit of black. Oh. Okay, I've got liquid white, cad yellow hue, sap green, and black. I want, want this to be quite dark. A little yellow ochre to it. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I need to add yellow ochre. Adding yellow ochre. Now, maybe back in here, we're beginning to see a little color. Just push upward with that brush. Just pushing upward. Look at there. See, and all these little things just sort of happen here. And maybe. I feel like I'm, I've mixed gold somehow. All right, didn't sound like he did this for too long, but this is my world. And in my world, we're going gold. Okay. I'll go with that. All right. Not much yet. We'll be getting to the foreground. Then we'll begin adding more highlights. But right now, right now, I just want the least little indication here and there. A little light playing through there. Begin picking out 
just sort of some individual little bushes. I'm going to do that bush on top of your head, Bob. Okay, so here's our liquid white and our titanium white on the fan brush, okay? A lot of paint. Okay, let's go right up here. Maybe there's some happy little water coming right down through here, and it's just bubbling along, having a good time, splashing, carrying on. Just, just think how water would think. Just, you know, just pretend you're water coming down here and having a good time, and just the world's happy and it's a good day, and all of a sudden, oh, doop, you fall over. It just it falls right over. Look at that. Isn't that easy? You can make a happy little waterfall. There. Well, I wasn't planning on that. Right but you need the dark underneath or it won't show. All right. I feel like I need to add more rock sculpture here. <laughs> Otherwise, this water is just falling into water. I feel like there, this is a very, like there's a reason they give you a video and it's not just a radio show. All right, a am I allowed to go off script and just sort of correct this? Well, I know that he didn't have time to fill this whole thing in, but I'm going to anyway. You're going to wait. Okay. Next. We'll just take a one inch brush and go right into two. We'll use some brown, some black. All right, well, that's not vague at all. So we have three different browns, and then we need black. Okay. And then, if you lived here, you'd have to have a way to get over this little stream. So let's do that. Obviously. Let's have some fun. I'll take some Van Dyke Brown. Okay. Maybe there's a happy little bridge. Pause. And I'll tell you what, maybe it's behind these bushes and all you can see is the part that goes over the water. So let's have it come up and then maybe like this. We'll put some character in it. And then it has a little bend in it. There. All right. Let me get the small knife. The small knife will do a little better for that. I'll put I only have a large knife, but I guess he needs a little edge, but I don't know what he's doing. Put some little post on here. Posts. There's okay. a little post. There. Isn't that cute? All right, pause it. There we go. Huh. It is cute. Maybe I don't need a little post in mine, but I guess I have one now. I'm going off script now. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, I'm going to have a dangerous bridge. Just don't overdo. Just here and there. Maybe the light's zinging through there and hits right there, too. Give it a little sparkle. Makes that, makes that little rascal jump out at you. All right. There we go. Now then we'll push this little bridge behind this bush. We don't know where he lives. Whatever. There. Okay, I gotta push my bush behind a bridge. My bush is already pushed behind the bridge. A bridge behind the bush? Well, there's no, this is too thick, this paint. Maybe I can give a little bush here. And a little bush here. Is that enough bush for you, or do you like a thicker bush? Good bush? All right. We'll push this little bridge behind this bush. We don't know where he lives. I don't. Whatever. Go right into my Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to have a, a lot of land areas and big rocks and maybe, maybe there's some big, let's just do it. I did it! Am I done? Just take the, the big brush. It's a straight Van Dyke Brown. And here we're just applying dark color. Maybe there's one that mm, comes right on out here. 
But he's all using you're doing is laying in basic shapes. We'll go back with a knife and straighten all this out and make big decisions about where things live. But right now, all we're interested in is just basic shapes. Just fill it up. Just fill it up with a color. There ain't nothing to it, y'all. Like so. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing my little bird on the last show. I did. He's coming along fine if you're following his progress. I'm not. He's dead by now. So I say, we've got so many calls. Maybe maybe on one of the future shows, I'll bring him back and let you see him again. I think, I think you'll like him. He's my friend. And uh, their time and money and energies into taking care of all of God's little creatures. Because they're, they're super special people. And maybe one day we can do that. Now then, same old dirty brush, I'm gonna add some sap green to it. Pull this brush in one direction. Load a lot of paint into it. You said he has, a, he has the big dirty brush? Go ahead and throw in some dark color. See how this dark, it sort of closes in and makes your Wait, eye go toward the water. Wait, what'd you say? Right, of course he is, the big tree at the end. But if he's using this brush, it's gonna be a big... Where did we always put it? Either here or here. I can put it here. I guess I have to, otherwise it's very heavy on this side. He puts it here. I'm putting mine here. <laughs> to beep that out. Mm. All right, it's just staying back there. Wow, I take all the stress release out of painting. Okay. Maybe right in here, we'll put on some dark leaves there, just to begin building some shape and form into this big tree that lives here. Or you can use almost pure green, so it just barely, barely shows. I like to leave some of these that are very dark, like that. See? How far are we in this? Now then, let's start. Let's start picking out some stones and rocks. Use. Somebody dropped a grumpy. Still want this to stay quiet, dark. Quiet, dark. Just all kinds of things happening. Now sometimes some of these stones get just full of little grassy and mossy things. So just tap, tap with a fan brush. I don't even know what he was tapping, this fan brush. All right, uh, all right, where should I tap it, Bob? The things that are wet all the time, they grow all kinds of little algae and, ooh, it's pretty. And we can begin putting all kinds of little bushes that live here. See, and they follow the lay of the land, coming right down like this. As many or as few as you want. This is your world. Come right over here. Maybe there's a happy little bush. He lives right there. I'm all out of bush space. Just sort of let your imagination go crazy. My imagination's lost it. Let's get the small knife. Little foots on these stones. Let's bring them straight down. If you get a little that in the water, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, so I need to add feet to the stones. <sighs> little stepping stones. Nothing like brown on brown. These stepping stones look like my posts. All right, you know what? I don't like that. I had something going. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't need stepping stones. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, I can't. It has to be over soon. It looks like I just changed my. Like a purple one? I want to be done with this. Mm. I'm going to dip right into some liquid clear and brown. Maybe there's some nice trees. Shoom, live. Just he doesn't say what brush he's using, does he? I think that pretty well gives us a finished little painting. From all of us here, happy painting. God bless. Okay, you don't have to leave that on. God bless, more like God darn it. Okay.
All right, so this is what it's supposed to look like, and that's what Bob did. Mm -hmm. Ready? Wow, that's a different painting. <laughs> but it looks like two parts of the same stream. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're painting further downstream than him. Yeah. Well, how about that? Okay, I mean, I'm not going to get too down on myself. I obviously was following with audio cues only, right, Ming? No need to answer. Uh, okay, all right, great. Well, then Ming has more art for his office because he always hangs what I do. <laughs> uh, I will sign it off camera. Yes, I will. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's your own interpretation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it is, it is. I'm sitting here doing this little dinky little bridge, and he's got this grand thing going across. Where are the stepping stones? It's a collab, actually. Bob and I have been working on this for 35 years. Okay, well, Mikey tries painting Bob Ross without seeing what he's doing, just hearing or having the right materials. So uh, I guess, I, what, what, what do I wrap up with this? Uh, this is something that you can try if you want. It, you know what? Actually, if I can just sort of like put a bow on this, I would say that if I remember correctly, I was pretty disappointed with my finished Bob Ross painting the last time. And a lot of the comments were really encouraging, saying like, hey, that actually looks really good. Or, you know, like, you know, you didn't do that bad. And then there were the honest people that said, like, don't quit your day job. And I'm like, this is what I do for a living. But with that being said, I was sort of given, because of the parameters of this, I'm given permission to make it my own. You know, as much as Bob gets on there and talks about, like, you know, this is your world. Do what you want. Do what you want. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I see people doing exactly what he's doing. You know what I mean? Even though he's telling you to do your own thing. So with that in mind, <clears throat> I kind of like that, that it was like, all right, here are some pieces of information. And he keeps, he keeps making that comment, you know, this is your world. Put things where you want it. But because I didn't know where he was putting it, I was forced to. So that is a positive thing, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this has been Mikey Tries, Bob Ross Painting, Blind? Okay. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Mike MikeNajeri. Uh, tag me in your artwork. Uh, if you do something like this, tag me and, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you mention that this is part of that Bob Ross blind thing. Uh, I'd love to see what you came up with. And uh, happy painting, as they say. We'll see you on the next Mikey Tries. Put down in the comments below. Uh, of course, I'm sure you're going to put in your comments what you think of this and what you think of this. But also, if there's anything else that you want to see me try, we're always looking for suggestions. And you never know if your comment will be the one that sparks our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Happy painting. God bless. Cue the music. Just 10 seconds because I don't want to get copyright blocked. Yeah, okay. Scene. I need soap now. It's on my arm? What do you mean it's on my arm? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see the backs of my arms.